Hey guys, and welcome to A Comedy of Horrors Volume 1. This is our little interview series that we're doing for the release of the film. And today I have with me none other than the fabulous, the hilarious, the outstanding and beautiful Kathy Searle. Hey, Kathy. Hello from my COVID isolation bubble. Oh, I was going to ask you, how are you doing? How are you doing? What's going on? Um, it, COVID, uh, I'm calling this COVID tw uh, 22 because this is the new variant that I unfortunately, uh, contracted. I let my guard down. Mm -hmm. I went to a show and I didn't wear a mask. Um, and 11 of us tested positive. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's actually been a little nice because other friends of mine have been going through it. So we've been calling each other COVID sisters and just checking in and saying, have you had this? Have you, ha did you lose your sense of smell and taste? which I did, which yeah. I'm so bummed because I loved that show where they eat like the hot sauces and wings. Uh -huh. I could have slayed that competition. <laughs> yeah, you it could. Was, that probably would have been pouring, but I wouldn't have felt a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least there are some positives to take from it. So yes. you, know, you would have won yes. the competition. But Well, and I have watched a lot of TV. So, you know, there's just been a, a lot of... Uh, reality tv and then some scripted shows that are fantastic and uh a, some cleaning on the days that i wasn't sleeping for like 15 hours well at least you'll have a clean apartment too exactly exactly <laughs> so after covid's over you come down here you can clean my house <laughs> uh, done and done right. i have become a really great cleaner awesome awesome uh you can start with the garage though it needs to be organized and then you can done all right, we're gonna work your way. Well, I watched that show, the organization show, that I was like, okay, so I'm, this is what I need to be doing in my apartment, so I can come on over and organize all of the things. So if the acting thing doesn't work out, yes, you, you can be a professional organizer. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm telling you right now, after this film hits, I mean, you're gonna be a big star. You're, you're not gonna be Am able. I? To, yes, you're not gonna be able to go anywhere in Malaysia. They're gonna. You can't even get off the plane. They're just gonna swarm you. Posters, autographs, all of it. And they're so. all gonna be terrified. They're gonna think that I am actually like Mrs. Evanora. Yes, you are. Yes, and that's that's of course Mrs. Evanora is the character that Kathy plays in the film Comedy of Horrors Volume One, and uh, her segment kind of ties all because it's an anthology. Her segment mm -hmm. ties all of the short films in the anthology together. Uh, so. How are, are you excited about the release of this film? I mean, it's been so long. It's been two years. It's COVID. It was COVID. We really I couldn't know. do anything. I know. I'm actually so excited that it's coming out now because I people need to laugh after this time. We really do. And the absurdity of each film is just so great. Don't ask me which one my, was my favorite because that's choosing your favorite child. Uh, they were all so hilarious and we do, we need silliness and goofiness right now. So I feel like this is the perfect time. This actually, you know, everything happens for a reason. And sometimes movies don't come out when they're supposed to, and they come out when they're really supposed to. Exactly. So, you know, it, it was kind of tough because we wanted to do a film festival run and we yeah. couldn't because there were no in-person festivals. We could have done a virtual one, but I found that the virtual stuff, uh, it, it sometimes they pirate your stuff and then they use it for their own purposes. So, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's tough. So we, we really didn't do the in-person festivals, but the ones we did, we won awards. So you're an award-winning filmmaker. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's so cool. So, so cool. Um, okay, I've been wanting to ask this question for a long time because, you know, as a producer and as a director, I really don't know, how did you book this gig? I mean, how did you get the gig? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, I knew the producer very well, and oh. uh, he thought, who can be a crazy teacher that then turns into a witch? Uh -huh. uh, so wasn't typecasting at all, right, Ken? No, no, not at all, not at all. I know, I mean, from past experiences, you have played my wife in a movie, and yeah. so I get, you know, the witch part. But now I know how you really feel about me. You were like, no, she's definitely a witch. Yeah, actually, I think like a sweet teacher. 
Uh, I think we I think we were more focused on the sweet teacher part than the other part. So we just knew you could pull it off. You're such a good actor that you could pull that off. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I was so excited because I remember when you were working on this film and you had told me about this particular role and there were, you know, some feelers out to some fancy people, rightfully so, um, to tie this great anthology film series together. And I secretly was hoping and praying that you would ask me to play this role or let me audition for it. And when you did, I was so excited because I had read the other scripts and I thought, oh my God, they're hilarious. And I kind of had an idea of if I were to be Mrs. Evanora, what I would do with it. Um, and the fact that you let me was just so dang cool. Well, you know, it, it was, you know, after, after uh, you praying secretly, um, the cool thing was, uh, you know, yeah. the uh, hundred text messages you sent me and said, Ken, if you don't cast me in this. <laughs> Making a shrine to you. Like, exactly. Please. Yeah. You put lipstick on and it's going all over your face and you're going to just sending you videos being yes. like, if I were Mrs. Evanora, this is what I would do. <laughs> I would have this apple. An apple a day keeps the teachers away. I don't know. Um, I know. Why do I have that? It's filled no. with candy. You were most certainly our, our, we were in our mind as we were writing the script. We were like, you know what? Kathy would be perfect for this. So let's, let's get her in here. Let's get it done because she's going to be great. And you were. And we thank you for your many talents. Thank you so much. Thank um, you. So I'm going to show a clip of you from the Ooh, from the film. Yes, please. Yeah, we're going to show. We're going to you know so the audience can see what you've uh, what you've been up to and what you did in this film. And then uh, what we'll do is I'll ask you some questions uh, awesome. in a in a few. All right, here we go. Oh, and I love this one so much. It's near and dear to my heart. It's about puppets, <laughs> and it's called Fun with Berkeley. <laughs> yes. I don't think these stories are age appropriate. Age appropriate? But it's a story about puppets. <laughs> Who here likes puppets? <laughs> Raise your hand, yes. <laughs> Someone didn't take their medication today. That's right, <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> I will later. <laughs> I mean, come on. Was I born to play that role? I'm so creepy. I think I think you are born to play that role. Oh my god, that is so hilarious. Poor Bill Steffi. Oh gosh, he's amazing. You the, know? the entire cast was incredible. I was lucky enough to work with amazing children. Those yeah. kids were awesome. And their parents. I loved their parents. I of course like went over to their parents and their caretakers and said like Hey, I just want to introduce myself. I'm playing this role. I might do weird, creepy voices and laughing. I just want everyone to sort of feel safe and know that, you know, it's a role. Um, because I I started when I was about 12 in the business, but these kids were younger. And I just always thought like, oh gosh, I don't want to like freak the kids out. I want them to know like I'm Kathy and then I'm playing a role. And they were so incredible. They took direction beautifully. I loved in one take, there was one kid and I said, I don't know if I felt good about it. And he said, yeah, I didn't believe it. And I was like, let's do another. <laughs> the one kid in that scene, in that scene, that when we were shooting that, when you said, raise yeah. your hand, yes. Yeah. That kid who raised his hand, he was a handful, but you handled him really well. You did. Oh, I loved him. Uh, yeah. all the, I actually love working. I know people say, don't work with kids and animals because they, you know, upstage you and make you they, you know, they shine. Um, but the kids, they, and they, I was like, great, make me shine, make me look better. They were so funny, so sweet. Um, and you know, you spend an entire day with kids and they get tired and you play games and you just sort of amp them up and then they would amp me up. So it was really a give and take. And I have to say they were so fun to work with. They really were. 
Yeah, they were. And they, they you know, they there were some takes that those kids had that were hilarious, but you know, we had to pick one. You know, they had multiple ones and we were just like, "Ah, you know, which one do we choose because they're so hilarious." Their reactions to what you were giving them was was it was it was pretty phenomenal. Oh, I know. I know. They were they were fantastic. That's why I do say work with kids and animals because they'll make you look better. <laughs> Well, I need to work with a lot more kids and a lot more animals then. <laughs> because I don't know what's going to save my career, ever. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be this movie. I don't, I'm You're not doing just here. fine. You're doing just fine. Thanks, Kath. <laughs> After this is over, I'm going to go curl up in a corner and cry like a baby. <laughs> well, that's just a typical Tuesday for me. So, uh, you know. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. We'll cry dance together in the corner. So, uh, <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at some uh, pictures from the set, behind yeah. the scenes, and uh, some other things. Uh, some uh, screen grabs. We'll take a look at some pictures. And uh, here is the first picture I want to show you, which uh, is our official poster. Look at that. And who's <laughs> right dead center? There she is. Let's talk about the hair and makeup because sure, go ahead. she was incredible. I, I mean, I'm normally very pale, but the fact that she was able to make me look like alabaster was just so good. Like the creepy little bangs, the wispy bangs, the outfit, the wardrobe was so good. The witch dress that I turned into was couture. Yeah, that I mean, was that was Luis Machacao from North amazing. Carolina. Yeah, and he is the sweetest man ever. But really going from the sort of sweet, you know, the little cardigan and the, the button down and the brooch and pearls and then to turn into this crazy witch was phenomenal. So I loved I loved that you used that picture. I mean, that's that's terrifying. I probably came out of the womb looking like that. <laughs> I'm here. Here I am to tell you stories. Exactly. I'm a storyteller. And yes, yeah. and that's what you grew up to be, a storyteller, which yeah. is fantastic. Um, so the makeup uh, was done by Steve Gibson and uh, yeah. Juliana Bramfa. And, it, you know, those two guys did a phenomenal job. And they were under the gun as far as time was concerned as well. Steve doing the crazy makeup for When I Become Mrs. <laughs> Which was kind of cool. All right, so let's take a look at these uh, these other pictures, and we'll talk about those as we're going. There you go. There's you in a scene with those kids. Look at those kids. Look at those adorable kids. Yep. They were they really were they were amazing. What a what a great way to shoot a movie where you just get to play. I learn more from kids a lot of the times. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. And, and, you know, just, and that's what it's all about, right? You want to go, you want to have fun, you want to play, right? It's playtime for us, yeah. right? And it's yeah. better when it's like that, that it feels yeah. like work. In my opinion, you know, if yeah. it feels like work, eh, it might be all right. But if it yeah. feels like we're playing and we're having fun, it's going to be good. It's going to be really well, good. Well, and that's a testament to you guys, too, because that set felt very safe and comfortable. I think the kids, the parents, myself, everybody that stepped onto the set felt like, oh, I can, I'm safe here. I can be me. I can play. I can take chances. And that's such a big, wonderful gift to give to an actor um, that you feel safe enough to say, you know what? I am going to try it. It might not work. And, you know, if it fails, it's not going to feel like, oh, God, I disappointed everybody. It's like, OK, moving on. Let's try another take. Yeah. And it, that's as a director, that's what I like to give my actors the freedom to when they're in front of the camera. Go ahead. Go ahead and, and make it your own. And yeah. if you come up with something that's not scripted, even better, because it's your own words. It came from you. And I, I just feel that that's a real moment. And those takes are going to be the ones that make it into the final product, as opposed to maybe a stilted sentence that we wrote and it just wasn't right for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you're, I mean, you're amazing at doing that too. So like taking what's written and, and running with it and riffing. So. Yeah. yeah. Being able to lift it off the page and make it my own but not feeling like I'm stepping on anybody's toes, you know, because the writing was so good. So it really was just little things that I would throw in. 
And uh, just so you know, the uh, lawyer said uh, the the settlement for the writing contract will be. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to get that in there real quick. <laughs> Lawyer. Yeah, law, the, the lawyers. <laughs> See, we got we got lawyers. There we go. There you are with your book. There. I mean, look at those neck muscles. I know it. I was just I, like, ah. Yeah, <laughs> that's where Mrs. Evanora. We see her really start to turn. I, I do know. love playing creepy people. I really do. Where it's like you're not sure in the beginning. Like you seem sweet, and then you're just like giving little glimmers of, of going, wait, something isn't right. So what I love is the fact that Stephanie Ann could do like that weird kind of like alabaster skin and the like yellow eyeshadow. So it really was like, there's something slightly off about her and you just don't know. And then for Steve to then transform me into Mrs. Evanora, um, that really was incredible. So it's, I love when you're an actor and you get to really put on the wardrobe and the makeup and that's when you start to really feel like, okay, now I'm in, in this person's shoes. Speaking of makeup, you ready? And oh. it, this was this was before they did anything. So, uh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, that's before anything happened. Yeah. So, yeah. That uh, is... Uh, they had to cover it up. I don't know what you do to cover up your nose when it, you know... I love it. Looks like a duck nose of some sort, like some weird bird-like creature. Maybe that is how I really look. Is that what it's like when I look in the mirror? I see the bird nose. I, I guess. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It, I'm just amazed that they could cover that up, and you cover it up on a daily basis. And make every it, day. Yes. And you every do, day. The shading you use that makes it look smaller. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. What that's yes, about. It's, it's all about the contouring. <laughs> um, but, I mean, really, the makeup. And we were under stu such a time constraint because we were at the location and we were, you know, going a little bit over. They were amazing. Everybody worked under pressure beautifully. No one made me feel like, you got to get ready, you got to do this. It was so cool the fact that it took them 95 minutes, which maybe that actually isn't great like is it so easy to turn me into a witch in under two hours uh i think it's an it's you know it's it's uh it's a credit to their skills as makeup artists and knowing that they were under a time <laughs> so crunch to turn me into a witch yeah. um but boy oh boy they turned me into a witch that makeup was phenomenal wardrobe phenomenal everything was just Superb. What was it like sitting in that chair for 95 minutes, just getting that latex put on you? I didn't mind it at all. I know some people have said like, oh, my skin feels weird. The way they put it on, and we had talked about it beforehand. They had said like, you may feel this way. You may feel a little itchy or tingly. And it really, they, they're the best of the best because I really didn't. After maybe three hours I felt like a little itch here and there but really and I will say this I didn't break out afterwards which they used incredible makeup because I know a lot of my friends that have done prosthetics said oh god did you get a rash did you do this and I I didn't so I was very lucky oh well I, I'll tell you what uh you know we thank you for being patient and uh you know being rushed through that day because we only had you for a day I know, and, and working with kids, you only have a certain amount of time. Yeah. But I think, I have to say as an actor, I actually like working under pressure where it's just run and go because you don't have time to overthink. And that's sometimes where you can fall into a trap of, oh, t maybe I need another take. Oh, it wasn't, there wasn't time for, can I try it again? Like I'm nervous. It was just, no, like let's, you're in it. And again, a testament to the makeup and the wardrobe and putting that on and all of a sudden feeling like, okay, I'm in this role. So uh, you know when the release date is, right? It is April 12th, kiddo. April yes. 12th. It's April 12th. Day. So uh, some of the, um, and this may, you know, people will be able to watch this after April 12th, this video. But yeah. Uh, 
It will be streaming on DirecTV, Cox Video On Demand, Comcast Video On Demand, Cablevision, In Demand, Charter, Vubiquity. We're even in Canada. How about that? Hello, Canada. Yes, Rogers Canada, Shaw Canada, Apple iTunes, Amazon, of course, mm -hmm. um, Video On Demand, Microsoft, Google Play, and Voodoo Fandango. Yes. So um, what we need to do is we need to push it on Prime Video right now because it is pre-sale so prime video so i love a good pre-sale i know Let's it buy this right and then of course want to have me on a loop <laughs> laughing can, and cackling watch it all day long i could watch it all day long listen i laughed and i've seen the movie so many times and i laugh every time when we were out at the new jersey horror con and i sat in that audience i was still laughing i was seeing things differently too it's amazing when you get to see it on a big screen yes it is and you know to see it in a theater because the guys who did the surround sound oh so uh, good yeah and you know you're gonna watch it on your small screen and you know if you watch it at home you 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 know you can listen to the surround sound in your high def system if you have surround sound but in a theater it's so much because the echoes and everything because it, it is a horror movie and there are a lot of echoes and scary stuff and it's really, you know, in a theater is kind of cool. And we're going to have a screening of it um, in the fall, probably around Halloween. Ooh, so, good. Yeah, Perfect. so hopefully you can come down. And we're going to be doing more horror cons. They're always fun. Oh, my God, they are so fun. It's I have to say, what a genre to be a part of. They're such hardcore fans, and they're so supportive. They really are. We met some really wonderful people. They reached out to me. They've looked me up, watched other stuff that I've done, which is just amazing. So I, I'm really happy that, you know, I'm I'm a part of this type of family now. I'm into it. Yeah, I, I, we we love going to those cons because the fans are so cool. And yeah, just they are. To hang out with them and, and just see how excited they are about your work and what you do. And then yeah, your yeah. other work, too, yeah. beyond the horror stuff. Yeah. They, they want to know about that, too, which is fantastic. Yeah, I got a lot of comments from people that had gone and watched Bill Tillman yeah. that you know we had met and said, oh my gosh, I love the idea of you guys playing husband and wife and now I want to see it. And all of a sudden they were saying like, I watched a Western and I loved it. And you guys have a Western horror coming out too. Like there's some really exciting stuff that, that uh, you guys have coming down the pike. So I'm happy to be part of this family. All right. Well, that's great. You got any other funny stories from the set that you want to tell us? <laughs> Anything uh, you can remember? <laughs> I mean, I, I do. Go so, ahead. You can tell. Okay. The night before I filmed, you were lovely enough to put me up at a gorgeous hotel. And there was a wedding happening there. And I had unfortunately just been broken up with. And my neighbors were very much in love <laughs> and there was some love making going oh. on next door mm -hmm. and it was hilarious but i gotta say they kept me up a little bit which kind of brought a little more magic to mrs evanora because i played mrs evanora as if she was a virgin who has never been touched by a man before um, so I really think <laughs> even though she's married, she's got the misses. Yeah, he's never bad. touched, never, never touched. touched me at all. All right. No. Fantastic. <laughs> he was a demonic <laughs> spirit, right? You married yes. and yeah. So you never met him really. I mean, no. could, yeah, there was nothing, there was nothing possible. No, so, no. he's I in should. a closet and you know, yeah. like I just <laughs> in a out. closet. <laughs> yeah. Take him out at night and bring him to events. Uh, Mr. Evanora, right, right, right. Um, yeah, no, it was, it actually was hilarious. There was just so much silliness. <laughs> so, uh, what else you got next? What, what, what's coming up for you? Anything exciting beyond? Sweet romantic comedy coming out in theaters, um, in like, it's kind of a slow rollout, April, May, and June called Love and Kilnary, and an awesome series on epics called Bridge and Tunnel. Oh, nice. Um, amazing Ed Burns that will be premiering. Season two should be, I think, summertime. I don't know the exact release date, but yeah, I'm excited. And then I just shot a, an AARP commercial that'll be airing during the holidays, which was really fun. You're, so, not, you're not that old. I am uh, in my... You know what? I, I did one, too, about... 
can edit that. About ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I did I one. Am my <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll put the I'll put the beep in there. I, I, but I did an ARP commercial about ten years ago, to, and I was like, I'm too young yeah. for this. And now look at me. I look like Santa Claus. I got this beard <laughs> going. I'm like, come on. No. Well, the nice thing is, is that AARP has all these cool tips that they give to people, and it doesn't matter how old you are. Like, you can. I actually get the emails, and they're great. But they're like about, you know, not getting scammed and whatnot. But um, yeah, it was uh, very cool. Like, I'm I'm always grateful when people want to hire me and put me in commercials, or in movies, or on TV. Which is fantastic. And you know what? Uh, yeah, I don't think that uh, you have to for our productions anyway. Have to go through the audition process ever again. I mean, you you've pretty much we owe you. <laughs> I love you for saying that. No, but you know what? If it is a very different role, I'm okay with having people have me read for stuff because, you know, they may not know that I can do that type of drama or, you know, it's, I, I'm fine with that. If you want me to audition for something, I'm fine with it. Well, we, we plan on maybe doing a round two. So Mrs. Evanora might be coming back. You never know. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll start yeah. prepping yeah. the... <laughs> <laughs> All the creepy cackles. Oh, well, I My neighbors that, are gonna love it. I thought that was a typical Wednesday. It is. Okay. Right, just only check it. between us. Just check it. Just check it. So where can folks follow you? Can they follow you over on Instagram? Yes, please follow me on Insta at Kathy Sir. Oh, hey oh. There it is. In my head. I know oh, it. Um yeah, feel free to follow me, reach out. Um usually I post updates of what's going on and what I'm working on. And uh, even if you just want to say hi. Awesome. And you got anything to say to the audience at home? What should they do this week coming up? Mm, I would love to say to the audience, please, please buy this movie on Amazon Prime. It is available pre-sales April 12th, three days before your taxes are due. So why not have a few laughs before? I hope you get that refund. If not, and you owe money, you're really going to need the laughs. So definitely pre pre buy this movie on Amazon Prime. Well, thank you. I, I'll tell you what, Kath, I, I, you know, enjoyed so much working on this film with you. And when I was editing, seeing your face all the time every day, it made me feel like you were in the edit suite with me every day. So I, love that. I appreciate you. all your hard work and everything you do for us. And uh, thank you very much for coming on today. And hopefully we get to work together again. And I hope this film takes off and a lot of people see it. Yes, thank you. And enjoy the film. Laugh a lot. But cover your mouth so you don't spread COVID. Yes, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, join us again for another interview coming up. Just stay tuned to our, uh, our Facebook page here. And you'll see more interviews with some of the cast and crew from A Comedy of Horrors Volume 1. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Amazon Prime, woo, 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 pre-sale, pre-sale, pre-sale.